In this video, we're going to go through some laws of exponents. So in particular, looking at how to multiply with exponents, divide with exponents, and the power of a power uh, law with exponents. So multiplication, when you are multiplying like bases, you're going to add the exponents. When you divide like bases, you're going to be subtracting the exponents. And when you have a power of a power, or I think I mean, you're raising a power to a power, you're going to be multiplying the exponents. Now, it's very important that you know these rules or laws of exponents, so you know how to simplify expressions that have variables that also have exponents involved. Now, we're going to take a look at a few examples on how we can go about solving these expressions with exponents. So example one, we have negative 2c to the fourth d times negative 4cd. Now when we simplify these, we're going to take coefficients times coefficients. So I have negative 2 times negative 4, which is going to give us an 8. c to the fourth times c. c has an exponent of 1. They just don't put a 1 there. You have to know that it's understood that there's an exponent of 1. So because the base is the same, the base is c and the exponent is 4 and 1. So if I multiply like bases, I'm going to add 4 and 1, and that's going to give me c to the fifth. And then I have d times d. They each have an exponent of 1. So when I multiply like bases, I add the exponents. So 1 plus 1 will give us 2. So this would be d to the second power. So my answer would be 8c to the fifth d squared. Example 2. Here, I have an exponent of 2 on the outside of the parentheses. That's telling me I have to raise everything in parentheses to the second power. So I have 2 squared times I have b to the third and I'm going to have to raise that to the second power times c to the fourth, and I have to raise that to the second power. Now I can simplify it. 2 squared is 4. b cubed raised to the second power. So now I have a power raised to a power, so I'm going to multiply the exponents. So that's going to be b to the sixth. Same thing here. That would be c, and 4 times 2 is 8. So my answer would be 2, or 4 times b to the 6, c to the 8th. A couple other examples. Here I have some division. So I'm going to go about simplifying these expressions with division. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my numbers, my coefficients, negative 4 divided by 12. Negative 4 divided by 12 is 1 third. So I'll negative one third. And then when I divide like bases, I subtract the exponents. So 12 minus 3 is 9. So I'm going to have w to the ninth power on top. So if I rewrite this, this would be negative w to the ninth all over 3. Now, it can be confusing sometimes. Students might struggle with, where do I put the variable? Does it go on top or put it on bottom? Well, if I take 3 w's away on top on the bottom, I take 3 left 3 on the top, all I have left is w to the ninth on top. So that would have to remain in the numerator. Example 4. Here they're telling you to raise everything in the parentheses to the third power. That means everything in the numerator and everything in the denominator. Now, the first thing I'm going to do before I raise everything, this one, I think I'm going to, I'm going to simplify the numerator and the denominator first. So I know this is going to be 2 thirds. I have x cubed divided by x. 
3 minus 2 or 3 minus 1 is x squared in the numerator y squared divided by y it be 2 minus 1 which is 1y so I have a y in the numerator and then z to the fifth divided by z 5 minus 1 is 4 so it'd be z to the fourth in the numerator again I'm looking at where where the number is where the x one is bigger and when I subtract them if I have a positive if I have a positive exponent, it stays where it's at. If it's negative exponent, then it has to go to the opposite side. So if it's a negative on the numerator, it's got to go to the bottom as a positive. Or if it's a negative in the denominator, I have to move it up to the numerator to make it positive. And I'll go through negative exponents in another video. Here, once I simplify the parentheses, now I have to raise everything to the third power. So that means 2 cubed. So it's going to be 2 cubed. And then it's going to be x squared times 3. y to the first times 3. And then z to the fourth times 3. Because remember, when I raise a power to a power, I'm going to be multiplying the exponents. And then the denominator, I have 3, and then I have to cube it. So my final answer is going to be 2 cubed is 8. And then I have x to the 6th, y to the 3rd, z to the 12th. And the denominator, I'm going to have 3 cubed, which is 27. So this would be my simplified solution to that expression. So that's how you can use the laws of exponents to simplify solution, uh, expressions.